Hello and welcome to return to the Westchester Real Estate Values.com channel. I'm John and today's vlog will focus on your guide to selling a mortgaged house. Now let's begin. Mortgage house is common real estate transaction. If you want to move out of your home but still have outstanding mortgage payments, you have the option of selling and using the proceeds to cover the amounts of your remaining value. It is not at all unusual. Most people who sell their home before their mortgage expires in the usual 20, 30 year agreement have a mortgage debt remaining. DJ, an essential question is whether the mortgage balance is greater than or less than the actual market value of the home. In other words, the sale price is it greater than what's remaining on your mortgage. That indicates net profit before tax deductions. Are you interested in selling your home with an outstanding mortgage? Here is a quick guide to the basics. First, contact your lender. The first steps to selling a home with a mortgage is to find out how much you still owe. Then you request a final payoff quote for some day, a month or two in the future when you expect to actually close and then transfer title. Your mortgage lender will provide you with the amount for final payoff that the loan at the specified deadline in a payoff quote. The amount will include both principal and interest and a breakdown of any additional fees you might have to pay or even home equity loans you have incurred for remodeling, college tuition, whatever. Find your home's value. Next step is to request a comparative market analysis, otherwise known as a CMA, from more than one or two uh, or even three responsible real estate agents in your area. The CMA should give you a good baseline between what the homeowner owes on the home and what the homeowner expects to receive or profit from after the sale, commonly referred to as the home left equity. Now choose a sale price. The selling price for your home should correspond to the market expectations and reflect what buyers would like you to pay for that specific home in that neighborhood, zip code, school district, and post office. The best, most effective rule of thumb for pricing a house for sale is what I refer to as the 10%, 30% re rule, indicating Every 10% above or below correct market pricing will result in a 30% increase or decrease in qualified buyers. And since proceeds from the sale pay off the mortgage, property taxes, and closing costs, and the title company fees, choose an effective price attracting qualified buyers that benefit the sale. Qualified real estate agents can provide the correct comparative market analysis to help you decide on the price. The components of a good CMA combines key information such as square footage and scale, conforming versus non-conforming lot and blocks, schools, post offices, taxes, HOA fees, etc., including sales prices and local trends for the complete picture of that known in that neighborhood. Short sale, simply put, a short sale is when your mortgage exceeds the CMA market value substantially. However, all is not lost if you're working with a responsible real estate agent who's certified in short sales, and they will work with your mortgage lender to prevent an outright foreclosure. The absolute worst case uh, scenario for credit score mark on the homeowner. Homeowners wish to move out of their home before their final mortgage payment. Luckily, selling your home with a mortgage balance is a common practice that any great real estate agent can assist you with. For viewing, please like, share, and subscribe. And keep in mind, a short sale 
is far more of a safety net than bankruptcy. Any questions you'd like to ask? Topics or issues, and I will include them you know, as soon as it comes out. Thank you for watching. I look forward to your participation soon.